Hello, in this uh, AWS Cloud Foundations uh, Knowledge Check Series, we are in Module 2. So, let us go quickly do this uh, module check on this uh, Cloud Economics and Billing. So, here you have about 10 questions, you need to get at least 7 right answers. So, and these questions are also helpful for your exam preparation. So, please carefully do and these questions can be answered unlimited times. So, let us start this with module 2, okay. So, the first question on your screen. So, for, ten, for certain services like AWS EC2 and Amazon RDS services, you can invest in reserved capacity. What are all the available options for reserved instances? So, you have this uh, AURA, okay, and uh, this NURA and your PURA. So, these are the three options, yep. Yes, this is correct. And the second one, where can a customer go to get more details about uh, Amazon EC2 billing activity that took place three months ago? So, that is Cost Explorer. Okay, that is correct. So, the third one, true or false? To receive the discounted rate associated in reserved instances, you must make full upfront rate payment for the terms of agreement. No, not always, not always. You have several options. I think this is uh, false. Okay. Now, the fourth question. Which statement is true about the pricing model on AWS? Okay. Select the best answer. Storage is typically charged per gigabyte. Yeah. And the fifth one. What are the four support plans offered by AWS support? Basic developer enterprise uh, business and enterprise these are various kind of plans which are available yeah, sixth one so which aws tool lets you explore aws service and create an estimate for the cost for the uh, for your use cases that is your pricing calculator yeah it is the right answer for sixth one okay seventh one as aws grows the cost of doing business is reduced and the savings are passed back to the customer with lower pricing. What is this optimization called? This is called as economies of scale. Seventh one is B. Okay. The eighth one. AWS offers true or false. Some service at no charge such as VPC, IAM, consolidated billing, elastic beanstalk, automatic scaling, Opsworks and cloud formation. However, you might be charged for other AWS services that you use in conjunction with these services. This is true. This is true. You need to pay for that. Yeah. And the ninth one. What are the benefits of using AWS organizations? So, uh, so, the answer should be the first one. Two, you need to choose two. Provides the ability to create unlimited number of nested or national units to support your own design structure. That's okay. And also replaces your existing AWS IAM policies with uh, SCPs uh, which are simpler to manage. Yes, this can also be the right answer. Let me check. Sometimes I may be wrong. Incorrect. Okay. So, this answer has gone. Then, uh, un, true or false again. Unlimited services are available with AWS uh, free tire to new AWS customer for 12 months uh, follow, following their uh, AWS sign up date. Select the best answer. No, this is false. This one. So, you do not have unlimited service. You have limited services. Just yes, submit. Yep, this is correct answer. Yeah, I think we got 90 percent. One answer has gone wrong. Uh, thank you and let us uh, catch up with module 3. Bye.